Welcome back, beautiful people. Today, we will inquire together what is anger, how to deal with the anger, and should you control anger. The title, How to Control Anger, is just there because most of the people will search how to control anger. But should we control anger at all? Let us find out together. Before we start, as always, we should put the boundaries to our inquiry. In this inquiry, there is no guru and there is no students. We are just two friends inquiring together, finding an answer, looking free from your own knowledge and looking for the facts. Now, that is very important when we are inquiring because if we find a fact, we are sharpening our mind. But if we deal with the illusions, we cannot find an answer. So, let us start now and inquire deep and find the fact together. So, first, what is anger? Have you ever been, for some reason, mad or angry on someone or something and you couldn't control it. So you instantly realize you are angry and your first thought is to control the anger. But is the control answer? And is there another way to deal with the anger? So before we dive deep to find out answer to this question, we first have to realize how the anger come to be and uh, what is prior to anger. Let us now observe how this happens. Let's say you do not like when someone take your seat and you are at your work and you're coming to your place and you are observing and seeing the person sitting in your place. And you have told that person so many times, do not sit in my place. And the first thing that happens is there is registration that someone is there. So brain has registered and recorded activity. As soon as it's done that, the thought comes to being and says, I have told him so many times, do not sit in my place. When you say that, there is a reaction inside of your body. So your body reacts with hormones and everything and it prepares itself for the run or the fight because anger is answer of a body to danger. So you start to feel these emotions, this pressing and you see that but you cannot deal with it. So, we create duality and we say, I am angry. So, you have divided yourself to the one who is saying, I am angry and the one who is actually angry. So, first thing to realize with anger and any problem is that we are creating these dualities. Because we cannot deal with the fact, but we escape from it. And when you are escaping, you are creating duality. So, is there something as an anger or it's created by our own mind? So, this reaction inside of your body is registered. And you remember these emotions from before and then you say, I am angry. So, the completely new situation has been translated into I am angry, created duality and divided itself. So, you are no longer capable of dealing with anger because you have lost your energy, you have divided yourself. 
Now you can only go to that person and start a fight or, or just start to control it even more and lose even more energy and build up that anger inside you. Okay, let him sit this time, but next time I will tell him. And so many times until one time you explode completely because you were not able to deal with that what is really now. Now let us back in time a moment and observe again the situation when you are angry. So you are coming to the person and you see the emotions in rising inside of you. You see all of these emotions and you stay with them. You watch them, you observe them completely with all of your attention. So do not try to categorize them, do not try to say I am angry, just be the anger, because you are the anger, but without reacting, completely observing the anger like it is a part of you, like it's your hand. It's your hand and what can you do with your hand? You, can, you cannot cut it off, you can just see that it is your hand. Same with the anger, you will not react to it, you will not escape from it, even if it's uncomfortable, you will stay with it and observed. In that pure observation, the anger will start to melt away and you will be free to act how it's needed. So intelligence and the pure observation will allow you how to really react. You will not overreact, you will not be angry, you will just do what is needed to be done without anger and that is pretty much how we deal with the anger so without control and without trying to escape or to stuff it inside us and there is one more very important thing to realize and that is when someone else is angry on us so you have seen the person so many times comes to you and he or she is very angry at you. The first thing you do, as always, your brain register that someone is angry on you. And you see their state. And this is somehow known to you because it has happened before. And your brain automatically reacts by bringing these thoughts. He's always angry with me. Why is he or she always angry at me? And this thought of yours also creates anger inside of you. So their anger created your anger. But if you are observing the person, if you are watching, if you really observe completely, you will see that it is the state in which is the person right now and you will be free to react intelligently and not become angry yourself. You will see the person, you will know what you need to do and you will not take their anger on yourself. Rather, you will deflect it and maybe with only one word you will completely stop their anger. Why are you angry at me? So try this as always. Do it whenever you realize you are angry and that you are becoming irritated in some way. And also when somebody is angry at you, observe it completely and see what happens. Thank you for inquiring with me and until next video, infinite love to all of you.